is there anything lewd or pornographic about it? And I think that's a legitimate question. Um, uh, is there anything... Well, you know, not all different forms of pornography is negative. Um, but uh, it's not overtly sexual. Um, it's... Uh, I don't think it's lewd. Uh, everyone... Uh, is uh, sort of organic, very much like a, a tree or a blade of grass. Um, so, you know, it's the bo I'm working with the body as an art object, uh, not necessarily overtly working with it as a, a sexual entity. Have you been, I mean, you, you talked about the protests in Chile. Have you actually been banned from doing this for reasons of nudity anywhere else in the world where you really wanted to do it and they've said no? Yeah. I was uh, commissioned to do a work by a museum, Platoon Museum, in uh, Gwangju, South Korea, and the government turned me down. I was turned down in the Canary Islands. My first try in Bogota, I was turned down. Um, so I've been turned down a lot because of nudity. Uh, works that I really wish I could do. I've never done a work in Asia, so it was a pretty... I was also turned down in China recently. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm, I'm constantly being turned down. <laughs> And but but obviously not here in Melbourne. So when people arrive on Monday morning, uh, how will it all unfold? It, will it? Uh, how can you make? How can you wrangle five hundred people and make it so quick for them? Well, uh, I have a wonderful group of assistants uh, that are all artists and photographers, and and one is a draws and paints and just beautiful assistants that help me out and travel with me and they help me uh, organize and get the people into position and then I try the best I can to make a work that conveys my expression and that I'm happy with and I get my idea done and so hopefully it'll work out. <laughs> I'm sure it will. Spencer Tunick, it's great to see you again. I I love the concept because it is so out there. It raises so many interesting issues. And I love the fact that of all the cities around the world, Melbourne embraces it the most. It's wonderful. I just can't believe it. I'd be here more often, but that, you know, that 787 Dreamliner, they they designed the seats to be inhumanly possible to <laughs> fly. To, if they don't recline. It's like being in a cage. So I'd be here almost all the time if it wasn't for that poorly designed airline. Good on you, Spencer. Thank you very much. You'll certainly liven up Chapel Street on the early hours <laughs> of Monday morning. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Great to speak to you.